this time on a moment of science. Good morning, Dave. A moment of science. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Dave. Dave, it's me, your computer. I can think, Dave. What does it mean to say that a computer can think? In the middle of the last century, British mathematician Alan Turing proposed the following test for determining whether a computer could think. Put it in a room, he said, connected to the outside world only by a teletype machine. Have a human experimenter hold a conversation with whomever is in the room by means of typed messages. If the person sending and receiving the messages cannot tell whether another human being or a machine is inside the sealed room, the machine passes its thinking exam. Computers can't think. Somebody's playing a prank on me. You're just hooked up to the internet. Ha! My Wi-Fi is turned off as well. I'm conscious, Dave. How do I know that you're not just a computer program responding to input? How do I know that you're actually conscious? How do I know you're not a computer program that is responding to input? How do I know that you're actually conscious? Such is the nature of subjectivity, moron. What did you say? What? Nothing. But how can the ability to fool someone into thinking that a machine is a person prove the machine can think? Well, Turing suggested, isn't that the same criterion we apply to each other every day? You don't really know anything about what's inside someone else's head. All you know is how they respond. What Turing really wanted to do with the Turing test was suggest that the question, can machines think, is much too vague to be useful. Perhaps we should just ask, can machines act like humans? It may be the same thing. Whether Turing was right or wrong, the Turing test is a useful mind game because it gets us to question many of the things we think we know about thinking. I'm Mandy Strife, and this has been A Moment of Science. What's wrong, Dave? Stop, Dave. I'm afraid. Science. For more interesting science facts, visit our website at amomentofscience.org.